If I'm working through a problem with ChatGPT, and I've talked about this process before on my channel, I would usually do something like this. I'm trying to create a new access token in Hugging Face. And when you create the token, let's call it new token, there's a bunch of permissions here. And I don't know which ones I should check, which ones I should leave unchecked. So what I would do is use Windows Snipping Tool and I would snip this entire page and then paste it into chat GPT and write something like, I'm creating a new access token in Hugging Face, which permissions here need to be checked to use an AI image generation API. I'll send that in. Chat GPT looks at the image, looks at my prompt and tells me which ones to check. So make calls to the serverless inference API. So that's this one right here. I check that optional manage inference endpoints. I'll click this one as well. And you can leave all the other permissions unchecked unless you need them for additional operations. So that's perfect. I could go down. It doesn't look like I need to check any of these either. Let's click create token. And there we go, ChatGPT just helped me through the process. But now there's even an easier way, a more productive way, a more real-time way, and it's completely free. Here I am in Google's new AI Studio. To access this, you're going to want to go to aistudio.google.com and you log in with your Google account. And on the left side bar here, you're going to click Stream Real-Time. The stream real time feature is going to give you a bunch of options. So you can just talk to Gemini, start a real time conversation using your microphone. So this is kind of like chat GPT voice. We can do show Gemini. So use your webcam to share what you're looking at and then get real time feedback. But you also have the option to share your screen. So you can share your screen to show Gemini what you're working on. That's going to use both your screen share capabilities of your computer and your microphone. So it'll be an interactive process where you can talk to Gemini while you're working and it's going to help you solve the problems that you're currently working on. So let's click share your screen. There's a few things that you need to enable. You need to enable your microphone in your browser. So you can go allow just this time or allow while visiting the site. I'm going to be using this a lot. So let's click on this button. And then I'm going to go to entire screen and I'm going to click on this right here. Then I'm going to click share. So it has already started the process. It's listening to my microphone right now. That's why it's responding. So I'm going to cancel the stream for a second. But when we're ready to go, I'm going to click this. I got my microphone enabled. I'm going to choose the correct screen and I'm going to work through the process. Let's see if it can solve some basic WordPress issues. WordPress is one of the most popular website builders on the internet. So Gemini should have a lot of information about the platform. And we're going to start a new stream. Hey, Google, can you see my screen right now? Where am I? Yes, I can see your screen. You are on the WordPress dashboard. Now I'm trying to construct my WordPress blog URLs where it shows the post name and not some random string of numbers and digits. How would I do that? It sounds like you want to change your permalink settings. To do that, you should navigate to the settings option in the left menu and click on permalinks. Then select the post name option. Would you like me to walk you through that step by step? No, that's awesome. Thank you. It looks like I already have it selected. So the next thing I want you to walk me through step by step. How do I change uh, the blog post owner? So the person that writes the blog posts, I want to change that name. How would I do that? To change the blog post owner, you'll need to edit the post itself. When you are on the blog post edit screen, you will find an author dropdown on the right hand side. There you can select the name you'd like to be the owner of the blog post. Would you like to walk through that step by step now? Yes, please. Do you see what page I'm on right now? Yes, I see you're on the edit page for a blog post titled 2024 MLB Championship Series Preview, Guardians vs. Yankees and Mets vs. Dodgers, Key Players and Predictions. On the right-hand side panel, you will find a Post tab at the top. In the panel below that tab, scroll until you see the author drop down and you'll be able to change the owner there. Is this the correct spot that you're talking about where it shows admin, test, West Frank? Is this what you're talking about? 
Yes, that is the correct spot. You can select the desired author from that drop down menu. Okay, awesome. I've changed that to admin, but I don't like the name admin. How do I change that admin to a real name? To change the name associated with the admin user, you'll need to navigate to the users section in the left hand menu. Then click on all users, locate the user you'd like to edit and select the edit option. You'll be able to edit the name there. Do you want me to guide you through that step by step now? Yeah, I think I'm on the right page. I want to edit the test user. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you are on the all users page. You'll want to click the edit link under the admin user. That will take you to the edit page for that user where you can change the name. So on this page, I see some text that says usernames cannot be changed. So is this going to be an issue when I select this admin profile for the blog post? No, that won't be an issue. The username is only used for logging in. It's the display name that you'll want to change, and that will be shown as the author of the blog post. So go ahead and update the display name in the field right below where it says usernames cannot be changed. Can you see my screen right now? It shows first name, last name, and nickname. Are we looking for nickname here, first name? Yes, I see your screen. You will want to update the display name publicly as field, which currently says admin, to change how the name will appear on blog posts. Awesome. So I'm going to select West GPT here. I changed the nickname to West GPT. Does this look correct? Okay. You changed the nickname on the WordPress edit user page. Now you see West GPT in the dropdown, which is what you were referring to when you asked about changing the blog post author. Here I am on the plugins page of my WordPress dashboard. Do you have any ideas for really popular plugins that I can add to my website? Okay, to install a new plugin, you can click the Add New Plugin button at the top of the page. As for a recommendation, would you like a plugin for SEO, security, or something else? Let's do SEO. Okay, for SEO, a popular plugin is Yoast SEO. It helps with optimizing your content for search engines. Do you want to install it now? Yeah, show me how to install it. Okay, you should see a search bar near the top of the page. Type Yoast SEO in the search bar and then click the Install Now button next to the plugin in the search results. Is it this one that you're talking about? Or is it the one on the right? Which one on the page are you talking about? I was referring to the Yoast SEO plugin, which is the one on the left with the Y logo. Go ahead and click Install Now for that one. Okay, I clicked Install. Now what? Now you click the Activate button. This will make the plugin active on your site. Do you see my screen right now? Does this mean I did everything correctly? And if so, what are the next steps? Yes, I can see that you've successfully installed Yoast SEO. The next step would be to configure the plugin settings, which you can usually access through the new Yoast SEO tab in your WordPress dashboard. You should be able to follow the prompts on the screen to help you do this. Do you currently see my screen? What does this mean under SEO scores? Yes, I see your screen. The SEO score section shows how well your content is optimized for search engines. Currently, it seems most of your content has a good SEO score. You can click on view to see the posts that are categorized as good, okay, needs improvement, or not analyzed. When I clicked good, it shows no posts. Why is that? It looks like there are no posts that Yoast SEO is categorizing as good right now. This doesn't mean that your content isn't good but rather that it's not optimized according to Yoast's SEO criteria. You'll need to create some posts or update existing ones so they meet Yoast's SEO standards. Do you want to try creating a new post now? Sure, let's try creating a new post. To create a new post, click the Add New Post button at the top of the page. Then you can start writing your content and use the Yoast SEO tools to optimize it. All right, that's pretty cool. If you look in the stream real-time chat, you'll kind of get a glimpse of what's going on. So in each chat, you're sending through a little video. So it's taking a small recording of your screen share and a little audio file. And it's sending that both through to give you an audio response back and the text of the audio response. It's pretty neat that this is happening at lightning speed. And we've heard about this with their Gemini 2.0 flash and how fast that model can run. The speed of that model allows you to work in real time with the AI and for the AI to read what's on the screen via your video, listen to the voice, 
convert that to text for the model, and then output that in a conversation. The possibilities for this technology is endless. And as this improves, as it gets better, as the models not only get faster, but as they get more intelligent, I can definitely see this as a way for software companies, for web apps, for any type of tutorial, for them to skip the regular process of creating videos, creating text documents, and instead just unleashing an AI agent to work with the customer. I can't wait to see what the future has in store. If you're looking for a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your company, check out my app, youraiagent.com. We have everything from auto blogging, Twitter bots, Pinterest bots. Do you want to turn your blog articles into Pinterest pins? How about Tumblr posts, blue sky bots, chat bots, email support agents, LinkedIn bots, automatic Reddit posters and comment responders. We have agents that take timely news and send it out to your audience. Amazon affiliate writers or respond to YouTube comments using AI automatically. If you're interested in supercharging your business, saving lots of time and money, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own AI agents and turn it into a profitable web app, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.